Gamora used to be one of my most played heroes in Marvel Champions, the card game. I absolutely love her. I like her play style. I like the amount of attack and thwart events that you kind of throw out there and kind of trying to figure out how to use them with her cards and balance them all out. And then I played a lot of her. Like, I played a lot of Gamora, and I got kind of burned out, and I hadn't played her for probably a couple of months at this point. And I decided to take her for a spin once again. Um, it had been a while, and I wanted to see if I still, um, you know, could kind of do well with her, could kind of play with her. I wasn't using too many new cards or anything like that, but I wanted to play her against one of the new villains that are out there now. So we're using Gamora, basically an aggression deck with a few Justice and a couple of uh, protection cards thrown in. And we're doing uh, the man attack scenario this is a scenario that I'm, i've really grown to really like and kind of love in the way it works and its design uh it's kind of rough uh to go through but i really enjoy it so i hope you like this playthrough but really fast before you move on do me a huge favor if you want to watch live playthroughs like this head over to twitch.tv backslash d20 woodworking uh make sure you hit the follow button turn on notifications so you know exactly when i go live and if you want to support this channel um and really help me out do me a favor make sure to scroll down hit the like button hit subscribe leave a comment all that stuff really 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 helps me out uh, really helps the channel helps the video grow and then there's also a join button down there if you want to join the channel and uh you know pay a little bit of money and you get to support the channel and you get some cool like little bonuses and, and stuff with it so anyway i hope you enjoy this playthrough okay we have cross counter drax hulk acrobatic move mean swing and set the pace so we don't need mean swing um it's an attack right and they deal one damage okay cool um hold on to remove one threat I don't think we're going to use Acrobatic Move yet. Probably not going to use Drax yet. Cross Counter, I like the idea of. So we'll see. Hey, fight in the cafeteria, right? <laughs> All right. We'll do one, two, three. For Momentum Group, Decisive Blow. Okay. Oh, we could do that and Decisive Blow. Okay, that works out well. All right. Look at Attack or Thwart Event. Uh, It's a Skill Event, not an Attack, which is weird. I did not realize that. All right, we'll flip up to other Gamora. And the first thing we're going to do is set the pace. Uh, so we take off one threat off the main. And then because we did a thwart event, we could deal one damage, which knocks it tough off. Do you get retaliated on that? No. Doesn't matter because it's not an attack anyway. But that was for a thwart event. So I do want to do decisive blow, I think. Let's get rid of two cards and let's do that. We did a Thor event, so this would do seven damage. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, down to eight. Perfect. Um, and then because we did this attack event, we get uh, each character gains retaliate one. So we get retaliate. Uh, so we take a damage. Nine. There we go. And I guess we'll attack for two. Two. We have done the seven. Then it isn't decisive. One against us for being retaliated once again. It was like decisively okay. I think is what the game was trying to do. <laughs> uh, it's ready up. We have cross counter, uh, Hulk, another mean swing, or mean swing, nowhere, and mean swing. Okay. One goes on to the main. Uh, Avalanche is going to attack. I'm going to cross counter this. So we're going to take the hit of three... Four, five. We're going to cross counter that. So we only take two damage. One, two. Now we deal one damage from, to an enemy. I'm sorry. First we retaliate, right? Let's do the retaliation first. Just keep them easy so we don't forget that. Then we deal one damage to an enemy. Done. Then we move one threat from a scheme. Done. Then we play an attack, defense, and thwart. So we remove another threat, but there is on the remove, right? And then we deal another damage on here. So he's down to three life. All right. Then we have two bad cards. First one doesn't look good. It is Pyromaniac. Pyro activates against you. If not in play, search the encounter deck and discard power for the Pyro minion and reveal him. Pyro. And I'll show that off really fast so you all can see what Pyro looks like as a minion. He's a 2-0-4. After Pyro attacks you, discard the top two cards of your deck. Take one indirect damage for each printed resource um, on them. Okay. 
so he is in play now. And their other bad card is Groundswell. Uh, no, Avalanche just exhausts, exhausts an ally you control. All right, so Groundswell. Avalanche activates against you. Okay, cool. So let me just show uh, Avalanche really fast. Right, so after Avalanche attacks you, exhaust an ally you control. Okay, uh, so he activates against us, which is not ideal because we only have so much life. Um, so we'll block this, I guess. Like, I feel like we kind of have to. So we're defending two against three, four, five. Um, so we take three damage. Two, three. And then we retaliate one. So he's down to two. Okay, cool. Okay. So we have to worry about Pyro. He's going to be scheming for a bit. All right, we're going to get rid of two cards to put Hulk in the play. Um, I don't think I'm going to do much with Hulk yet, right? Because I usually use him as a glorified blocker. Um, and I don't think I'm ready to flip down to the next villain, whoever that is. Uh, so let's just flip down. Right? Let's just flip down to other Gamora. And ready up. Because there's seven on that. It might advance it, but whatever. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why did I do seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My bad. This one doesn't get drawn. Okay. Conditioning room. Uh, Keen instincts. Rocket. Iron heart. Momentum shift, which is really nice and clear the area. Okay, cool. One goes on to here. Uh, he's going to scheme for two. Plus one and gets rid of a mystique card, which is really nice. Uh, so that's four total here. He's gonna scheme for two more, so it's up to six. So it doesn't advance yet, but it's getting close. And then we do our bad card. Oh, okay. I guess we will be advancing that, so that's cool. Huh. Advance, advancing it. I got it. Yeah, okay. All right, two, three. If this villain is blob, it's not. Give him additional boost card. All right, so this advances. This goes in the victory display. Um, there's now two main schemes in the victory display. So this one flipped over is the courtyard. So each character gets plus one attack, which probably works out well for us. Trying to survive an avalanche, right? It's weird how it works out. Okay. So, oh, that comes in with one. All right, so we have an additional attack, which is nice. Maybe. A little. All right, I do think I'm gonna get rid of clear the air. Oh, I'm sorry. First, we'll we'll see if this is an attack or thwart event. It is a thwart event from the Gamora special ability. Um, what I want to do is actually get rid of four momentum play conditioning room. I'm gonna exhaust it to return the bottommost <laughs> this. If you are not in our Discord, make sure you are because we spent a lot of time talking about this card. Uh, return the bottommost attack or thwart event from your discard pile in your hand. Heal Gamora one damage. I understand it as it's an attack or thwart. You don't get to choose. Some people think, yeah, Diamond's Edge was the one who asked it. Some people think you can choose if it's an attack or a thwart. You go. Um, so YouTube, have a fun time debating that. So for me, it's an attack event on the bottom most, right? Take this. I take this as the top. I've also seen people argue this, that this is the bottom, which doesn't make sense to me. Like, this would be the bottom. But I, I've seen that argued too. So anyway, we did that, and we have to heal one from Gamora. So it's up to four. Um, all right, acrobatic move is really nice. Hmm. Okay. So, just be really fast. It was whatever comes first kind of thing. That's the, the, we were on the Discord like split like fifty fifty on this. It seemed like like we were really torn between which one it was. Um, so honestly, it, it, who knows at this point? I think we need an official ruling, but I don't want to get it because I'm usually wrong with those things. So you know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to throw away Rocket. Yeah, I'm going to throw away Rocket to put Keen Instincts in the play. We're going to use Keen Instincts to clear the area. Yeah, to clear the area, to remove the two threat from here, it gets to draw a card. Fusilade, not full slide. 
QR code tie, and that's what I'm talking about. Give it time. Give it time. <laughs> All right, let us throw away full slide, not full slide, and acrobatic move. Do I want to do that? Yeah, to do momentum shift. Um, also, I just realized I did a thwart thing and I could have done one damage. I think I, I, think I missed that. Um, that was with uh, clear the area, right? We did clear the area, uh, remove threat. I should have done one damage. Um, we'll do it on the villain. Okay. Momentum shift, heal two damage. One, two, we can do that. Deal two damage. We will do it onto Pyro. Um, so he has now two damage onto him, but he does retaliate us because we are attacking him, right? We're using an attack card. Um, so we're down one. There we go. Uh, and I would get to remove one threat from a scheme, but th there is none to do, so that's fine. And then we will do the last two damage to knock out Pyro. Uh, we don't get retaliated because, you know, he didn't knock him. Like, he can't retaliate back. He's already knocked out. Oh my god, it is plus one attack. Jeez Louise. Okay. So we're up one more, right? Dude, I can't keep track of these sometimes. I keep forgetting. All right, so we're up one more. He doesn't retaliate. That's fine. Um, our attack should have done a little bit more, but that doesn't matter. I think that all works out exactly the same. All right. All right, plus one attack. Hulk, Hulk we're not going to have swing. He has one life left. Okay, I think we're good. I think we'll just ready up because we're going to let Hulk pretty much get hit in the face. So two, three, four, five. There's our sword. Oh, there's cross counter though. Interesting. All right, so one goes on to the main here. Uh, Avalanche is going to attack. Hulk is going to block this. So it's three, four. Discard one card. It ran from your hand. Ugh. I'm sorry. It's four, five. It's going to knock out Hulk. Jeez. I need I need tokens for this to like show retaliate or something because I forget these way too easily. Cause I never I'm not trained enough to look. Oh man, my sword! I'm not trained enough to look at that card. Um, to like keep remembering this stuff. I wonder if I'm the only one with that problem or not. All right, so that was that. Then we get our back card. <laughs> sure, why not? Okay. So he's scheming for two, three, four. Ooh. Five total on there. Uh, okay, cool. Okay. Um, we're going to throw away two cards to put in Ironheart. It's going to draw us. Set the pace. All right. I think we'll do set the pace because it's not. I think that's a pretty good card. All right, we'll do that. So we'll set the pace. Removes one threat from here, which allows us to trigger our ability to deal one damage. Nope, that's the wrong button. That was bad. All right, so that knocks him out. All right, Avalanche is out because the victory's player. Our next villain's <laughs> Toad. Okay, our next villain's Toad. <laughs> it's always Toad. Let's bring him up to 13. 13? There we go. Uh, okay, we do have to put another bad card in play because of um, save the school. And we just have to defeat Toad and we're done. All right, we still have plus one attack, which is nice. Um, okay. So Ironheart is going to do two damage, right? Knock off the tough. I'm going to do... How much left do I have? Six. Also, total. <laughs> um, so we're doing three damage now. One, two, three. Brings him down to ten. Oh, we can't advance the scheme, though. Ugh. Okay, let's ready up. We have cross counter. Clear the area, crisis averted, uh, double, and another crisis averted. Okay. As long as we don't put any threat on, we're good. So, we're going to block this with uh, Ironheart. So, it's attacking for three after Toad attacks and damages a character. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's a character you control. I do control Ironheart. Um, I'm going to block this, actually. I'm defending two against his three, right? Because of this. 
Oh my god. It's, oh my god. It's not gonna be enough to do cross counter. All right. Well, we'll do cross counter regardless. Um, we get to do keen instincts. So we're blocking three. So it does one damage to me, right? So we're gonna do one damage to us. Okay, because it's six and I blocked five. Okay. So then we get to remove one threat, deal one damage. Then we do another threat, another damage, right? Because of our whole um, finesse and precision thing that we have going on. Did we tell you about my parking miss? My, oh my god! <laughs> now we have to after attacks and damages a character you control, discard one card random. After attacks and damages, do the third one down. Crisis averted. I guess that's a good one to get rid of. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so now we get this bad card and our other bad card. So first one, oops. Uh, protect the students. Um, okay, when the player defeated this scheme, searches their deck and discard a pile for an ally and adds it to their hand. Okay, that's not terrible. Four. Uh, Toad's looking like we're not going to do that, though, but whatever. All right, next bad card is caught off guard. Discard an upgrade or support you control. Okay, so this isn't terrible because we can get rid of conditioning room. We just don't have time to use right now. All right, what do we have? Eight? Okay. I'm actually going to dump a double and a clear the area to play Crisis Averted. So we move six threat from the main scheme. I know there's only three, but we're going to get rid of all of it. And then we get to deal one damage for precision. Yeah, for precision. And Crisis Averted. <laughs> All right, so that is that. Then Ironheart's going to actually knock herself out and deal the last, uh, do deal, deal two damage. Sorry. So it's down to five. Um, then we're going to flip down to other Gamora. And Ironheart gets knocked, or yeah, gets knocked out. Then we're going to ready up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't do Crisis Averted. I didn't use a science. Oh, yes, I did. I threw away clear the area, right? You pay for this card using a science resource. All right, before I, before I forget to show this off, I did clear the area um, with a double to do Crisis Averted, just in case people were wondering about that. And I did it kind of fast, so. Um, okay. So that's that. Uh, now we draw six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Keen, Nebula, Martial Prowess, Combat Training, not full slide, and Momentum Shift. Okay. All right, as long as this isn't threat out, I think we win. One goes on the here. Toad's going to scheme for two, three, four, five. Okay, that brings up to six. It's good to see that they're doing like full amounts. All right, back card. Avalanche. After Avalanche attacks you, exhaust a character you control. Oh, yeah, his minions, any character you control... Versus his villain, after that avalanche attacks you, exhaust an ally you control. That's interesting. All right. Now it is our turn. So we look, can look at this top card, see if it's an attack or thwart. Uh, it is an attack. It's, I think, one of the winning attacks. So. Yeah, I think we're good. So let's flip over. Um, we can throw away a keen instinct and use a keen in instinct. To do momentum shift allows us to heal two, one, two, um, and deal two damage, one, two. And then we can throw away two cards to do decisive blow to deal four damage, one, two, three, four. Uh, so he is knocked out. And then uh, we could also just do strip three more damage if we need to do that. But okay, we finally got there. We finally got to the win. Holy cow, that took us, it took us a little while. Um, I don't think I missed anything up too bad, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that that's that is our win, thank goodness.